so hello guys uh, so let's continue with the revision of dreamer package so we have last time studied up to the centrifugal pump that is uh, the last question was why we keep discharge while start during starting of centrifugal pump now we will be going with a next question that the application of centrifugal pump so anyone here would like to tell something about this arun yes arun go ahead yes so centrifugal pump is basically used wherever we want a high discharge uh, with uh, we can manage with lower pressures so basically on ship we use centrifugal pump in the main engine the oil pump and uh, the main sea water pump uh, emergency gs pump and fire pump so other than this uh, mm, these many uses on ship are is known about known by me correct perfect okay uh gyan hmm. so i have a doubt because i have studied somewhere that we we used to use a uh, helical uh, helical screw pump. plunger uh, 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 helical screw pump in main and engine sometimes and and in sometimes for lubrication na yeah 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 that is that is used in the uh, uh, cylinder lubrication i think see i am little bit confused here because sometimes i hear that centrifugal pump but i have uh, studied a blog on a, of course see, google see, that we, we, are we use from... helical screw pump see we are referring from trimmer package na we are revising trimmer package so we will be sticking with that it is not acha acha okay okay, okay. Uh, otherwise from various sources and it is because uh, sir pranit sir is actually on board ship okay so uh, like uh, the credibility factor of pranit sir is much more in this case okay guys so uh, next question is the characteristic characteristic curve of centrifugal pump okay so in a, we are having a pressure and flow curve okay pressure in the y axis and flow in the x axis so can anyone tell how will be the curve like it will be going upward or it will be going downward like if the flow will increase pressure will decrease or increase uh i think it will decrease it they are uh, inversely proportional Anyone not else? sure about yeah. it but uh, so the pressure had uh, decreases when the flow started to increase so uh, it is like a, a curve uh, moving downward on the uh, q side of the graph hmm. achar for us Sir Pras. Yes, hello. Uh, hmm. Yes, uh, the pressure, uh, the actual curve is slightly curved. The actual uh, curve is slightly curved towards the Q side. Hmm. Nobody is mentioning because of the frictional losses. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, uh, theoretical, there is theoretical curve and actual curve. Actual curve. In actual curve, yes. there is will be some. shock and eddy losses as well as frictional losses but the concept is like that when the flow is uh, will be increasing the pressure head will be decreasing okay okay now uh, tell me uh, what what will be the graph like a uh, power and flow graph power in the y axis and flow in the x axis <coughs> how it will be like that power and flow yes so hmm again can i go with it yes yes go ahead uh, so the power uh, in the centrifugal pumps graph uh, power and flow graph uh, the power increases as the flow increases uh, the power will be minimum in the starting of the pump and it will gradually increase as the flow increases so it will be a straight line moving ahead uh, on the q side Uh, when uh, q will be zero then uh, p will be zero is it true or not no no p 
P will not be zero. Uh, P will certainly uh, on higher side, but it will be lowest in the graph. In the lowest of graph. And uh, when Q will be the zero, the power consumption that uh, there will be the some power consumption. Can there will be some power consumption for sure, but it will be the least power consumption in that graph. Okay. And that power consumption is for starting torque. Giving the ah uh, yeah exactly yes sir. yes sir now moving with the next question in a case of centrifugal pump the current drawn by the motor when the flow is more or less uh, the current then can you repeat the current drawn by the motor will be more or less when the flow is more uh it will be more in a case of positive displacement pump it will be same uh, how how this power uh, how uh, no, no. yes uh, i'm not sure about the positive uh, displacement pump uh, power consumption see see c the current uh, in a case of positive displacement pump the q the discharge is constant okay mm -hmm. so the so power the... the power consumption the load on the motor will be depend on the pressure head 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 hmm. got it okay so we can say that if the pressure head that head is constant so the power consumption will also be theoretically constant yeah no issues Any question from your side? Mm. In uh, case of characteristic curve, <clears throat> no. <clears throat> Guys, uh, why there is no relief valve fitted in centrifugal pump? Yes, Arun. So, the centrifugal pump uh, basically works on low pressure. So, <laughs> the designer uh, kept this in mind that it is working on low pressure. So, the power line, the the supply lines, and uh, uh, the valves are designed in such a way that it can sustain the pressure if the discharge wall closed shut at, at is, as it works on uh, 7 to 10 bar pressure that the discharge line and walls can sustain. Okay. Sir Faraz? Yes, uh, the centrifugal pump uh, cannot generate a lot of pressure uh, which may damage the pipelines of the pump. That's why there is no relief valve fitted. Again, uh, sorry? A centrifugal pump uh, cannot generate a lot of pressure which may damage the pipeline or the pump. That's why the relief valve is not fitted. Okay, Gaurav. Yeah, Gaurav, please bro, speak. If you'll speak, then only you will have some knowledge. That, let it be you are wrong, but please speak. Hello? Gyan, I have to say something. Uh, yeah. uh, as we know, centrifugal centrifugal pump is a uh, non-positive displacement pump. It is generally used for high discharge and not for the high pressure. Mm -hmm. So, it will not generate such amount of pressure which will damage its pipeline. So, that's why we don't have any uh, but no really relief valve. Yeah, perfect, perfect, perfect. Ruthik, you also try. Yes, uh, centrifugal force imparted by the impeller diminish, diminishes or uh, it becomes negligible during its impact over a pump casing. So the pressure inside the pump is not that high to damage the pump. So that is why the relief valve is not fitted in centrifugal pump. Because the pressure inside is not that high. Uh, in, uh, in starting, what you say? The centrifugal force 
uh, imparted by the impeller diminishes during its impact over the pump casing. Centrifugal force diminishes. What do you mean? Yes. Means मतलब वो खत्म हो जाता है और वो convert हो जाता है ना? Convert हो जाता है तो उसके वजह से जो pressure होता है pump के अंदर वो ज़्यादा नहीं होता कि pump को damage कर सके. Yeah, like centrifugal force uh, will impart kinetic energy and kinetic energy can further converted into pressure energy. अगर मैं wrong हूँ तो इशाज़त correct कर दो. Hmm. Ruthik, avoid, avoid. Okay. What is the dynamic? Conversion. The diminishes means Con just like. Uh, Conversion. Uh, See? Reduces. Destroyed. Destroyed. Yeah, destroyed. Exactly. Not making sense. Not making sense. Like if you are saying something like the kinetic energy of uh, imparted by the impeller, like impeller imparts kinetic energy on the fluid particles, and that is further <coughs> converting to pressure energy. Uh, because this was the question asked me uh, to me in the prediction, so I answered this fluently to you right now. The centrifugal force diminishes. Yeah, the effect of centrifugal force. See, centrifugal force. The kinetic energy uh, is imparted on the fluid particle is because of what? Because of centrifugal force only. And this kinetic energy is converting. मतलब this kinetic energy is decreasing. So we can also say that the the centrifugal force, the effect of centrifugal force is diminishing. In this, uh, you mean like this only? Yeah, yeah. He means the same. He means the same. Exactly, exactly. Okay. Now, priming. Before priming, uh, I want to ask everyone. Explain in your way what are the effects of having air inside centrifugal pump. Yeah, so, so I will first ask to Sarfraz Parvez. What are the effects? Yes, uh, if there will be air present inside the centrifugal pump, as we know that air is compressible and water is incompressible. Suppose uh, so uh, when in case of water. Suppose we are uh, imagining as uh, water is uh, made up of blocks. So if there will be water present inside the centrifugal pump, each block will be pushed and the water will flow out. And uh, in case of air, as air is compressible, all the blocks will get compressed. Uh, excuse me. Can you um, repeat again? So in a centrifugal pump, mm -hmm. if there will be presence of air, as we noted, air is compressible mm. and uh, in case if the when in case of water it is incompressible so if we imagine water is made water is made up of blocks so in case of water all the blocks will push is push each other and discharge will take place but in case of air as it is compressible all the blocks will get compressed and the pump will lose its pumping action it will not be able to generate uh, the pressure required for suction so what will happen it will uh -huh. you are forgetting the dry run concept it will run dry it will run dry yes it will run dry yes, it will not generate the adequate uh, pressure required yes okay. so the, the will uh, run dry and it will, it will cause overheating it will drop off its efficiency and performance as well Arun, try. Ah uh, yes. So up up to some amount of air can be handled by uh, the centrifugal pump. That is one to five or six percent. Uh, above six percent, the pump can go air blind. So the uh, uh, pumping can stop there, as the air is compressible and the pump will won't uh, run with the air. And uh, after air blinding, pump will uh, soon run air uh, dry. In the starting, you were going wrong or going right, but after that, uh, like uh, it, it needed some more details. Okay, uh, okay. Garo. 
Goro? Anyone else? So, what I have made this uh, answer like uh, in short and concise since air is compressible and having thousand times lesser than the water so what will happen a density uh, you miss density so uh, yeah since uh, air density is thousand times lesser than the density of water so what happens is the amount of centrifugal force that is that will be decreased by the thousand times by the formula mb square by r m is rho into v so rho will decrease by thousand times so force will be also decreasing by thousand times so it will not able to create enough suction pressure enough negative pressure at the eye of impeller and so the fluid will not be get be sucked and the impeller will run dry there will be no discharge taking place and due to this dry run of the impeller it will cause overheating and so we can say that the first the pumping capacity of the the efficiency of the pump will decrease and due to this dry run it will cause overheating that can damage the pump all right that can damage the ceilings also uh, yeah uh, that is nothing but can be uh, overall called okay. yes 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 correct <coughs> Huh. That's why priming is very important. Hmm? That's why priming is very important. So what? But if you mention priming at the last, then he might ask you about priming as well. Yeah, that's why I I mentioned. So we need to be perfect in that text section. Yeah. So I am giving. We should a... add the point. Ah uh, yeah. Uh, so guys, try. What is priming? Concept of priming. And methods of priming. Yeah, sir, first go ahead. Priming is the process of removal of air from the pump by adding more liquid to it. It can be uh, for priming. It can be have. It can be done by two ways. It depends on the water tank if it's above or uh, below if uh, the tank is above then <coughs> we need to close the discharge uh, bulb of the centrifugal pump and uh, add i forgot the point we have not studied this hazard what was he saying in the case above, we close the discharge. Bulb. I don't. Uh, I think we don't need any priming. If if the if the tank is above and we are pumping the water from the high level to the low level, that is something. You mean if the suction pipe is above, no? Suction pipe. That the inlet pipe is above. Not uh -huh. If the water coming from the higher source, do you mean this? Uh, what is name? Sir, Sir Fraz, do yes, you mean yes, this? Yes, I forgot. Yes, if the uh, water tank is above, then we don't require any priming. But if it's uh, below, then yeah. we need to close the discharge valve and then add a uh, add uh, water to the pump. There are two methods, I think. No, there are various methods, yes. but uh discharge uh closing the discharge valve is also a method because uh because uh, due to which the uh, the comp uh, see uh, the dryer the pump will able to create such pressure because there is no outlet uh, and uh, and also we can say that the outlet is very less so uh, so there will be cre creation of uh, suction pressure at the inlet side because uh, no, no, uh, nothing is going out from the pump so it will create a suction pressure at the inlet side and uh, second is we can do manually and the third is uh, by reducing the diameter of the suction suction pipe okay gyan how many methods are there total please enlighten this yeah 
in a starting someone was saying that like uh, suppose this is above the inlet pipe is above like it is not down it is up okay so in this case we don't require priming someone has said but you know when we start centrifugal pump okay in starting before starting only the all the centrifugal pump should be filled with water is it or not okay. yes and someone was saying that we keep dischargeable shut for that priming okay if suppose there is air and if we keep discharge valve shut and you are priming means putting uh, liquid in it so if you are you will be putting liquid in it the air will not get exert exerted like uh, there will not get exited because of the closing of discharge valve gyan if it is uh, self priming then there will be no air uh, stuck or trap in the pipe centrifugal pump are is self priming pumps no but the condition you have told na the inlet pipe is like upward so in that case hey, someone is saying that inlet pipe up upward so in that case we close the discharge valve and start priming so i was thinking uh, that centrifugal pump is no in uh, such condition we don't need, uh, we don't need anything like closing the discharge valve but when ah. we when when we need to suck water from the lower ground at that time we need centrifugal is not self priming but as you have mentioned the condition the pipe is upward it means the tank is upward so the water will flow due to the gravity na it will fill the pipe uh, ultimately I think so. According to me, I am no, no, not no, understanding. Making sense, making sense. But the logic, what I am understanding is, uh, uh, like if the tank is upwards and in inlet pipe is upwards, so it will fill. It will automatically fill the pipe. So there will be no air trap. So basically, two meters are priming, okay, manually, and using external source. that is also known as self priming pump uh, in a case of uh, on board ship we have vacuum priming pump vacuum pump roto time dynamic pump all are like self priming pump no like gear pump and uh, screw pump so gear pump and oh. screw pump is not a roto dynamic pump so it's a rotary positive displacement pump sorry 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 politician pump sorry sorry uh all right so <clears throat> so i was saying that uh in a uh, second method Jan, yes is is foot valve a method for priming i have read it somewhere that uh, installing a foot valve in the suction line is a method for priming foot valve foot valve installing is, of installing, installing of foot valve is done for the priming purpose only yeah like it ensure also like a, a foot valve backward in, flow uh, non return valve la uh, uh, ha 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 once, yes. once water is uh, once the casing and all the thing is filled with water if it will uh, it will be not unidirectional it will be bidirectional the all water will go down and there will be some creation of void spaces that is nothing but air so yes you can say that okay and okay okay <coughs> moving with the next question ya Uh, which type of pump is uh, ballast pump ballast tank pump anyone guys uh, it is a axial flow pump i think no it's a centrifugal no pump a centrifugal pump no mm -hmm. centrifugal pump because it uh, transfers water anyone know about ballast tank concept and the ballast what is ballast tank uh i have read somewhere that the... why it is provided why there is to a... to maintain the uh, equal to equilibrium the ship while uh, loading buoyancy and unloading buoyancy. basically to uh, uh -huh. buoyant i think the buoyant force 
the correct term will be buoyant force yeah 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 shubham correct buoyant force uh, to maintain the uh, equilibrium that is ultimately to maintain uh, the buoyancy the how it's maintaining uh, the equilibrium hello hello, hello hello what is what do you mean by equilibrium yes to Ar- minimize the effect of rolling and pitching uh, ballast tank yes. is uh, prov- yeah yeah run say 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 Arun. no no Ar- shubham complete it uh what i know that uh, to minimize the effect of uh, rolling and pitching uh, this ballast tanks are provided in the ships uh, it we fill the ballast tank with water or we empty it uh, by our uh, requirement uh, like as i said to maintain that uh, buoyancy effect buoyancy effect who oh. so to minimize that so, rolling and pitching what is buoyancy effect Uh, like uh, if there is any high tide in the sea, mm. if you are countering any high tide, mm. so to min min I I am not hundred percent sure with the answer, but uh, due to high tide, the ship will uh, we will have the effect of like high rolling and pitching. So to minimize that, we fill the ballast tank. Baron mm. is welcome. Ah, Gyan, I have. Oh. Yeah. So uh, yes. Okay. Yeah, Arun. Yeah, Arun. Go ahead. Yeah, Arun. Go ahead. So, uh, the ballast pump is used for two main purposes. Uh, first is to counter rolling on ship, and the, another tank. one is when the ballast ship... tank. Oh, okay. So the ballast tank. Okay. The ballast tank is used for two purposes uh, on ship. So first is to counter the rolling uh thing on the ship, and the second purpose is uh when the ship is empty. uh means it doesn't have any cargo the ship can dare not move on water with that empty cargo space so we used to fill the ballast tank in that situation to move the ship ahead if the if there is no high tide uh, so the condition is if there is no high tide and also the ship is empty so there is no need to fill that ballast tank no i think we need to fill that ballast tank because we have uh, to maintain no. uh, maintain the amount of weight on the ship that's why uh, yes, 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 if, 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 if the ship have time. if the ship have less weight on it then it will have high rolling and pitching when it no, will that's sail. what i have told it does if the if there is no high tide rutik yeah so i'm got 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 you rutik rutik your turn actually actually with the yeah. help of manus Uh, actually, uh, with the help of blast tank, we maintain the GM means meter centric height. Otherwise, our ship will be capsized. Mm-hmm. Thumbs up, thumbs up to you. Okay. Basically, the equilibrium you was saying, he passed the correct word is stability. Yeah. Now, technically, Manoj told that. Manoj, what are you up to? You are from marine engineering background. Mm, oh, I am preparing. Like uh, you are preparing for GME? Yeah. All right. Have you passed written? No, no. Tomorrow? Actually, I am in third uh, year. Okay, from mechanical or marine? Mechanical. Third year only. Yeah. Which college? Ah, uh, college uh, in. Uh... MP Oriental College. Okay, okay, all right. Okay, so um, uh, bring your friends to Let's Learn Group. We'll study together. Okay. Okay. <coughs> Rutik, anything you have to say? Yes, yes. Yeah. Um, uh, ballast tank is basically a section within a ship, uh, which is uh, used for holding water. which will give the stability to any kind of a vessel which will by reducing the or controlling the buoyancy that's it all the points are mentioned by you guys yeah correct guys most of uh, the things were right and the main thing was to drafting it okay in a... yes okay so <clears throat> ballast tank is for the stability of ship whenever there is no cargo in that case we filled the ballast tank with sea water okay 
you have heard of that drought line of the ship okay there is something called some convention in which the drought line should be in the water otherwise the ship can topple or capsize okay seeing the tides and other the storm in the ship so it was also right that the to compensate the rolling and pitching that much if ship will above the drought line the rolling pitching the effect of rolling pitching will be more okay so it was all about today guys thank you so much anything anyone has to show say uh gyan do you have any idea how many of uh, us like in the group uh, who have given uh, sti is gme interview yeah just uh, put a put a poll put a poll there okay uh, other than uh, any uh, any question and this ruthik has given the sti interview okay so uh, let me uh, turn off the recording okay uh, any uh, yes, any any question uh, regarding this session because i am keeping it short guys because consistency is very much important if i will be doing one hour and uh, uh, not doing tomorrow uh, uh, not doing for 3 to 4 days will not be benefited every day yeah 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 little little okay thank you thank you guys